Hi, my name is Chloe and I'm a member of the support team at whocanfixmycar.com. Today I will show you the different features on the platform and give you some really useful tips and advice which will help you in work. When you log in, this is the screen you will be greeted with, which is the home page. From here, you can view and access your job alerts, messages, jobs applied for and jobs won. Firstly, we are going to look at setting up your profile. To edit your profile, you need to navigate down the blue panel on the left hand side to the bottom icon, which is edit profile. You will land on the contact details page. Here you can upload a profile picture which will be visible to all customers. We recommend a picture of your company logo or anything that is related to your business. You can also update any contact information, including the telephone number you would prefer the customers to contact you on. The email address that you add is the email address that the job alerts will be sent to. You can also change your password here. Always make sure to hit save to any changes that you have made. Next, we are going to look at essential information. In essential information, you can create a really eye-catching about us section, which will appear on your profile and will be visible to any potential customers. Make sure to include information such as warranties, makes and models that you specialize in, jobs that you specialize in, and any specialist equipment you have in your workshop. If you would prefer for a member of our team to create you an About Us section, please refer to the welcome email you received with your login details. In there, you will find a link in the email which will direct you to an online form for you to fill out. Once you have filled this out, a member of our team can create you an About Us section in a few quote templates. Then enter your VAT number if applicable. The next stage you will come to is a list of services that you can filter to show your customers the services and repair you offer. Going through and unticking any services you do not offer will stop any alerts being sent to you for that category, reducing the amount of alerts that we send you. You can come back and amend this at any stage. Below this, you can unselect any makes and models that you are unable to repair and service and highlight any that you specialize in. Again, always make sure to hit save. Next, we are going to look at profile information. Most of the fields in here will show on your profile page, which the customer can see. You can upload four additional photographs here. We recommend uploading photographs of the garage inside and out, which will really help to make your profile stand out. And then go through and update all of the relevant details. If you also offer any mobile services and click on the button to reflect that, be aware that your standard 15 mile radius for job alert will be increased to a 50 mile radius. All alerts are sent to each garage from within a 15 mile radius and this is not something we can change. However, later in this video, I will show you how you can filter the jobs that we have sent you to quote on. Again, make sure to hit save at the bottom of this page.
The card you have on your account is the card we will take any commission payments from if a job is accepted. Make sure to keep them up to date on the site. If we fail to take a payment from your account due to the card expiring or insufficient funds, there can be a small admin fee. You can update any card changes here. Again, hit save. Next, we are going to look at permissions. If you would prefer not to receive alerts from us regarding new jobs, you can turn off the alerts here. However, you will still receive alerts when you win a job or receive a message from a customer. Next, we are going to look at the auto quotes. The auto quotes can save you a lot of time quoting on the site, especially if you are already a busy garage or you don't have a member of staff to monitor the site and quote on your behalf. They also keep your response time down. Your response time to the jobs we send you to quote on is really important as you want your quote to be one of the first that the customer sees. You are in complete control of your auto quotes. When you enter a set fixed price into an auto quote category and turn it on, Every time a job comes up in your area, the site will automatically send a quote on your behalf. You can turn them all on and off by clicking this button here. For instance, if you were moving premises and didn't wish to quote on the site for two weeks, you can simply turn off all your order quotes and then turn them back on. You can change the header and footer of each auto quote, but not the middle box. Some of the messages have text in there, such as the aircon regas, which explains to the customer that there can be variations in price depending on the vehicle. So make sure to preview the messages before you set them live. If you tick the free box next to some of the auto quotes, we still charge a commission. So I would advise to pop a price in there to cover the commission we charge if the job is accepted. Servicing auto quotes are a little bit trickier but still very easy to set up. However, if you require any assistance or would like a member of our support team to set them up for you, give us a call. You can have as many auto quotes as you like for the servicing categories with different prices for different engine sizes, in engine sizes, age of vehicle and fuel type. To set one up, click on edit settings. You can change the engine size, age of the car and fuel type here. And then enter a price. And simply tick off what's included in your full service. Always remember to hit save. You can then click and add a new template which will create you a new template to set up for a different engine size, age of car and fuel type, and also price. You can import the settings from the previous one created to save you time ticking all the boxes again.
you can then preview the message to see what the customer will receive when your order quote is fired out. Obviously, some vehicles require different filters, spark plugs and oil, which can increase the price. Don't let this put you off setting these quotes up. Simply give the customer a call or message them when the quote goes out and explain that their vehicle requires a different filter, spark plug or oil. So the price will be slightly different than what was quoted, but it would be the same wherever they went. If you scroll further down the screen, you will find a list of makes and models. In each make and model, you can set up auto quotes for a clutch replacement, front pads and discs, and also a cam belt and water pump. Again, you can create as many as you like for each make and model, depending on the engine size, fuel type, and age of vehicle. Next, we are going to look at how to manually quote. To manually quote on a job, you need to navigate back to the home page and click on alerts. From here, click on View Job. Make sure to always view the job first as a customer may have left a description regarding the job, which will help you quote more accurately. Keep an eye out for any additional work in the description also. Once you've read through all the information, you can select a quote template. Simply enter the customer's name, which you will find on the right hand side below the map, to personalize your message more. From there, add in a price for the parts, labor, and then the total. Make sure the total in the message matches the quote box at the bottom here. Below the quote box, you can see the commission we charge for that job before you hit apply. Once you have quoted on a job, you can click to reveal the customer's telephone number. Go to Applied For and then click on Call Customer. We re really recommend calling as many customers as possible and within a good time frame. I would personally recommend within an hour or two of the quote being sent. You can also go back into the job and view it and send another message if required. If you do contact the customer by telephone, there could be a chance that they will book with you over the telephone. If this happens, we do need you to click this button to say that you've booked the car in.
When a customer accepts your quote, you will receive an alert by email and also an alert on the site. If you click on Jobs 1, you can reveal the customer's telephone number again and also request feedback. Now I will explain how the commissions work. The commissions are different depending on the category of work, but every mechanic is charged the same commissions on the website. We do not take a percentage of the quote you are sending. For instance, every time a mechanic quotes on a mobile alloy wheel repair, they are charged 579 plus VAT. The time that we take the commission is when the customer clicks accept to your quote. So you can quote on as many jobs as you like. The time that we take the commission is when the customer clicks accept. However, if the customer fails to turn up or cancels, we do refund you that commission. After your training call with a member of the support team, you will receive an email with the refund procedure. Make sure to have a good read through it before you request a refund. Next, we are going to look at quote settings. You can create as many templates as you like to help speed up the manual quoting process. Enter the name of the template. And the message. And then hit save. The quote breakdown is also a really useful tool. Here you can tick the relevant boxes that apply to you. This will show your customers what's included in the quote that you have sent them. Once saved, every time you quote on a repair job, for instance, you will see what's included. If you don't wish to offer any of these services for a specific quote, you can untick them before replying. It is important to set this up as it is one of the first things a customer will see. And you can add as many as you like and delete any that you don't wish to have. We are now going to look at find jobs. You can use find jobs to filter jobs we've sent you by alert and also search within a specific mile radius. Changing this will not reduce the mile radius for your job alerts that we send you by email. You can move this all the way down to one and all the way up to 50. You may come across jobs with, an, with a white box in the corner. If so, this is a job that we haven't sent you by job alert but we are still giving you the option to quote on it. The reasons we may not have sent you it is that you weren't one of the closest mechanics to the job. If that's the case, you can still quote on it. It just means that we, haven't sent, we only send the alerts out to the first X amount of mechanics closest to that job. The other reason can be that you don't cover that category of work, or it could be that it's over the 15 mile radius, so we haven't sent you the alert.